we're in free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures. We're in the basic JavaScript course on challenge 75, 113. So today we are going to do this challenge called golf code. Okay, so in the game of golf, each hole has a par, meaning the average number of strokes it, a golfer is expected to make in order to sink the ball in the hole to complete the play. Depending on how far above or below par your strokes are, there's a different nickname. So your function will be passed par and strokes as arguments. We're going to return a string according to the table in which the strokes in order of priority according to this table. So we're going to return a string uh, based on how far above or below par the stroke variable is. So uh, we have const, we have names here, and then we have a function called golf score, and we take in par, and we take in strokes, and then we're changing this and doing some logic in here, and then it's going to call it, there's a call here of that function, and it's going to return whatever uh, it returns. So as you can see from these tests, it's going to, you know, input different par values, different score values, or different stroke values, and we need to do the logic that makes this math, this above and below par uh, return what it needs to return, okay? So as you can see here, we have the different uh, nicknames for what each of those above and below par scores would be. Uh, so we're just going to use the if-else statements like we learned in the last chapter, or the last challenges, and make this make out this logic, okay? So strokes, one, uh, we're going to return hole in one. So we're going to say it's our first condition. We want to kind of go down this list uh, because this is, should be in order of, as you can see, of above and below par. So we're going to we're going to go in order and then return a specific value from the names array. Okay. So we're going to say if strokes is equal to one, return names, bracket notation like we learned in previous chapters, challenges, uh, we're going to return names, hole in one, so that's at the zeroth index. Okay, so basically if strokes is the value of one, it's going to return names at zero index, which names zeroth index, the first item. Okay, and then we need another condition for an eagle, which as we can see is in order here, then we can say else if less than par minus two is an eagle. So if strokes is less than or equal to par minus two, because we're comparing the strokes, that's the first value that's going to be uh, the second value that's going to be passed in, and then par is the the average here, so that's what we're going to compare against, and then whatever this uh, strokes below or above is. So if strokes is less than par minus 2, that is considered apparently an eagle, which is the first value, meaning the, well, the second value, meaning the the first index in the names array because we start at zero, we go to one. So we're going to return names, bracket notation one. And then we need another check, else if strokes, because that's what we're always comparing against, the strokes is par minus one, so equal to par minus one curly brackets for code, we're going to return birdie, which is the third value, meaning the second index. Names, second index. And once again, else if strokes is equal to par, going to return par, which is the fourth value, third index, names, 
third index. Once again, else if none of these conditions are true, we gotta execute another condition check. Strokes is equal to par plus one. That's a bogey, turn bogey, which is the fifth value, the fourth index. Names, fourth index. Once again, else if strokes is equal to par plus two, we're going to return double bogey, which is the sixth value, the fifth index. And then else if the final check which should catch anything else that is not that does not meet any of these conditions because it is greater than or equal to I say strokes is greater than or equal to par plus three return go home return which is the seventh value which is names at the six index names, six index. And that should do it. As you can see, it passed the tests. Um, literally just going down the lines or down the checks of each condition. If it is equal, if strokes, the stroke value that the player made is equal to any of these, any of these conditions comparing to par and uh, returning the specific index value that has the name we want going down the list because they're in order. And then this change me doesn't need to be there. We can actually take that out. All right, so that that's all we have to do for this one, guys. Hope it made sense. Uh, hope to see you in the next challenge.